Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up for Robinson Crusoe. Alright, so there's a lot of components in this game. So just bear with me. Alright, so what you do, start out, place the board down. Next, you're going to take all your tokens and resource cubes, put them in individual piles. Um, your player pawns. So here, put them in po different piles, and your discovery tokens, shuffle them, put them in a couple stacks there, and then your discovery tokens, place there. Um, okay, let's discuss the decks. So, let's start here. So, you're going to have three different decks, the question mark decks. Um, you're gonna, so there's three different piles, shuffle them and place them the matching matching spots. It's there. So this is for building, matching icons, um, gathering, matching icons, and then exploration, matching icons. And also the dice, make sure they have the matching colors. And it doesn't really matter, just they didn't really have to make three different ones is I guess it's kind of cool um, and then of course this is your weather die which you probably won't use in some of the scenarios um, so yeah so that's your resource decks and then shuffle your treasure deck place it somewhere near um, your hunting deck Shuffle that. Um, and here is your event cards. What you're going to do is you're going to go through and sort out all the ones with question marks and book icons. So there's going to be two different piles. Um, and then also there's going to be, and there's a slight difference in color. You can, I mean, you can barely see it. It's like almost like a, you know, Oh, you can see it kind of. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it in my in my view. There's a little difference in greens. So anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find. There's three of these ones with like the kind of like the weird brownish green backs. You're gonna find those and, play, and set those aside. Those are gonna be your starting out events. You already have one there. So, and the other ones, like I said, just make a pile of a. Uh, Oh, and they also don't have a question mark or a, a book on them. That's another way you can tell, just in case you're colorblind. <laughs> actually, it's kind of, it's sometimes certain lights it's actually really hard to see. Anyway, so make sure you have two separate decks like that. And we'll just leave that there for now. Take your tiles, shuffle them. Um, this is your starting out tile. It has the volcano on it. You just place that there. You place your marker there. That's, that's your starting out tile. Um, let's see. So, oh yes, these are your these are your starting out items. You you select two, which I've already done, and then once you've done that, you place the rest in the box, and then you can only you can only use these two times in in a game. So every time you use it, you take away a, a cube. So you have that somewhere nearby. So all the players can use it. Let's see. The next, the invention deck. Which there's, there's quite a few of them. And what you're going to do is that there's a starting out inventions which you place on the board. There should be nine of them. And the way you know what they're starting out ones is because next to the name here, like here, there's little arrows. See the map has arrows, so there's arrow, arrow, arrow. So there should be nine of them. If I'm correct, 679, yeah. Next, what you're going to do is shuffle the rest of them. Actually, before you do that, so you got the nine inventions already out, okay? Before you do that, you, um, you select characters, and each character is going to have a special ability, which is going to be, this one's going to be fireplace. So it's going to, so you just place the fireplace there. This one is the snare, you place it there. Then, after you do that, you shuffle the rest of the ones, um, invention deck, and you're going to select five more 
on top of the nine that, you, that they're starting out inventions. So so it kind of gives it more of like a replay value, I guess. More of a replay value. So you got the nine start out and then the five extra. Excuse me. Alarm just went off. Anyway, uh, excuse me. So you got the nine inventions. You got the two, because I'm playing, even though I'm playing solo, I'm playing two people. It's easier. And so you got the two inventions there, and then you have the five extra inventions. Okay, so that's the invention deck. And then the, the, you don't put this in the box because there's some of the events will allow you to, some things will allow you to draw more inventions. Not, not very often, but it will happen. And you can draw another invention, which is kind of cool. Because sometimes you lose inventions too, like they break and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. What else have I not gone over? Okay, so... Oh, scenarios. Let's jump over here really quick for scenarios. I recommend to start out with scenario three. Jenny needs help. And I just use... I'm just going to use this little pawn marker for the... for which day it's on. So it's day one, day two. So it'll go up. This is going to be her little marker once I save her. I chose pink because, you know... She's a girl. <laughs> Next, each person... Killing her. Oh, it might help if I show you. Um, see the little box there? I placed red, the red. This is going to be the, her life. So as she's taking hits or whatever, it's going to go down. So, and you start always in the little box. And same with your guys down here. In the little box. Every time you get hit, it's going to go down. So. Oh yeah, next. I forgot to tell you. These are your pawns. Um, each player gets two of the same color because you'll be placing them, you know, like I'm going to explore, so you place them there. Or you can go, I'm going to, we need more food or we need an invention. So it helps you like, I don't know, figure out what you're going to do next. Anyway, because we'll get there later. Um, I would recommend, since I'm only playing with cheap people, even though I was playing with three different people, I would still probably play with Friday. Anyway, Friday is an extra pawn to help you scavenge and stuff like that. And of course he has a little square there for his life. And the dog is just, people say don't use him because it makes the game too easy, but guess what, I've never won this game, so this does not make it too easy. <laughs> and again, he has a green, that's gonna help. It's all color coded, so if I was to explore, he'll help me explore and fight. So he can't gather and he can't um he can't build. So and then of course the carpenter made him yellow. Okay, what have I gone over everything? So you got your nine inventions plus the five. The starting out inventions, got your players, got your extra help, Friday and the dog, got your tokens and resource piles all Organized. Oh, place a black marker on your. This is gonna be your weapon track. So as you're building weapons and stuff like that, or losing, like sometimes it'll break, you'll lose. Those are gonna be your um, damage points. And then your morale track. Put a. I, I put a white one there. Well, it tells you to put a white one. And then so that when your morale goes up and down. Um, will help you keep track of when it goes up and down. <laughs> um, you got your three pals there shuffled, ready to go. Everything shuffled, ready to go. Oh, yes, that's what. So, for back to these piles here. Now what you do, oh, for one, for the Jenny Needs Help, um, you use the Wrecked Lifeboat card. And the other ones are discarded into the box. Okay, and then remember this is the one that doesn't have any of the icons on it, and also has the weird brown green back of the flag, of uh, the grumpy flag. Brown green flag, gosh, I can speak today. Anyway, next, you go here, and you're going to select four of these. Oh, the reason why, hold on, I'm going to get a little ahead of myself. So each scenario has different amount of days before, you know, the end of the game. This one has eight. So what you do is you divide it by two. So eight divided by two is four. So what you're going to do is you're going to select four 
Remember, I shuffled these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four of each pile. And then what you're going to do is you're going to... So I did four book icons and four question mark ones. And then you're going to shuffle these together. So let's just say I shuffled them. And this is going to be your event deck. And the rest are put in the box. So whatever scenario it is, you divide it by two, rounding up. Um, just in case, I guess if it was like seven, it, you know, it wouldn't be three, it'd be, you know, round up to four cards each. But in this case, it was eight, so eight divided by two is full. So four of each of those decks, and then you shuffle them, put them in there, and that creates the event deck, which you'll be drawing and sliding this over. Anyway. Of course, I'll get there when I say how to play. All right, so I think you are ready to go. Um, I'm going to make another video on how to play. I'm going to play a couple of turns so you guys can kind of get the feeling of the game. Um, hopefully, that wasn't too confusing. Like I said, there's just so much going on. It's hard to like keep track of like how to explain things. But anyway, the, it should look like this. So once you get that all set up, um, try to find my next video. And I'll show you a couple run-throughs how to play. Alright, thanks for watching.